Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. It's another chat, a brew, and a big black dog that suddenly magically appears as if out of nowhere. <laughs> or as some of you call it, the laddie show. Mm -hmm. hmm. Don't worry, the cat's still around. We just, um, <coughs> we just decided that when we do these, it's easy doing it here. Hmm. <coughs> While we're then shipping everything over to Dawn. Mm. And plus you like laddie, don't you? Ooh. Yeah, I'm still coughing, but I'm feeling better. My makeup artist has just done my makeup, so... Mm. Can I keep it on, please? Thank you. A poly pillow. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right, before we start, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Which reminds me of something. I knew this one put it on. Hold that a minute. Uh, oh, 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 24 carat gold rose. It's supposed to. It's a what? It's supposed to open it. I Not do study it. it. I do study things. Wow. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Right, now that's a loss of words. What we'll do now is have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> It's very fragile. Isn't I know it? it is. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. We got a comment on our video yesterday. I know. Saying that you look very smart. I know, thank you so much. <laughs> e I must admit I have felt a, um, a bit down um, of late. That's why I've just, I've not managed to get myself out the my, the liquor hole up till now. Um, where I make an effort, put makeup on and do my hair and stuff, so. <laughs> but hopefully this will last. Because mm. there are positive things happening now. Within my family circle, there are positive things happening now, so. Which is a bloody good thing. Yep. First time I've done a video called A Chat to Brew and a Big Black Dog, and we don't have the brew in hand. And this is my brew. <laughs> I'm on the black coffee as usual. And Nest, Nest Cafe is Cap Columbia. I like that one. And I'm on um, Typho, is it? Uh, no, PG Tips. PG Tips Triangle. Hmm. Pyramid. Ah, hmm. oh dear, right, so. I found that drinking it without mil uh, milk or sugar helps me with my weight loss because I'm trying to lose a bit of weight as well. We've had a lovely weekend. Well, we've had an interesting weekend. It's been nice as well. We've been dog sitting. My friend who I class as a, uh, a father figure, I call Sid which is abbreviation for Step In Dad and he's got a dog called Boy and we were looking after him weren't we? Yep. Well he had a little trip over to Europe. Mm -hmm. It's funny saying that because when people it's like at the minute 
the United Kingdom is part of Europe, but we still don't class ourselves as in a Europe, do we? So we, when we go away, when I we go on we holiday over there. mainland Europe, whereas we're an island that can stop Europe, but part of Europe. Yeah, thank you so mm. much for that one. Yes, that's what mm. I mean. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, a video, a very short video up of these two boy and laddie playing on the field across the road. They really enjoy the cell. It's only about a minute or so, so I'll put that one up as well as uh, this video so you can see what they're like. They are absolutely nuts together and boy is my little shadow. Mm. We basically swapped because Ali was um, was, a, uh, was responsible for boy and I was responsible for laddie but laddie decided to go with Ali and boy came with me so mm. it was uh, we basically swapped. <laughs> I had a dog's head glued to the side of my leg all weekend. He's lovely. Mm. <laughs> you said he's like a... I've always thought he had a little bit of Alice... 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 The golden retriever, mm. but he's got the build of a staff. Well, oh, got the bloody colour of the uh, what do you call it? Um, the Labrador, mm. the golden lab. Was that what I said at first? I can't remember. Yes, you did. Okay, um, so we've got the honey colour of the golden lab and the, the build well, and the snout and the snout of a, a Labrador as well, from what, I've, from what I can tell. So he's got the build and the shape of the staff. Mm. So I think I think that's what it might be. I might be wrong, completely. I'm not an expert on dog breeds. Uh, well, mm. he's got a bit of dark brown in him and like no, red into black. That really doesn't mean anything. That could be uh, the staff colouring as well. But if you look at a, um, an Alsatian... Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. There's no trait at all of Alsatian. The colouring doesn't matter. All oh, right, okay. It's, it's the actual look of the dog rather than the colouring. The aesthetical stature. Mm. Okay. <sighs> May, um, that the fact that I've known other <clears throat> dogs that look very similar to him in build and shape, and uh, they've been stuffed up across his so can that's what I, I'm going for. Can I just say as well, um, we had a comment on our last uh, shot, Ruby, but no. Thank you. It just went out of my mind, um, saying that the that one person could not understand me. Mm. So I do apologise, and I am going to try and pronounce my words yeah. a bit more accurately. I'm, go I'm going to try to teach you how to speak English rather than with him. It's hard going, but we're getting there. <laughs> Cheeky ripple. <laughs> no, it, I am. <coughs> Um, we've got the mm. posh side of Wigan called Shevington. There's a posh side to Wigan? Watch it, Ika. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh -oh. But I have lived in Wigan Town Centre, which is an old coal mining town, since 2006. <coughs> so I did develop the broadness. But now I'm trying to develop the talking very with correct pronunciation. Or even pronunciation. Do not belittle me like this on television. <laughs> <coughs> on Valentine's Day. <coughs> oh dear. I said pronunciation. Not pronunciation, not pronunciation. Is that what you could say? No, that's you get a full English word for it. Uh, okay. People can't actually tell from paid up because I don't talk with that paid up can twang. If I spoke with pro if I spoke with the proper head up twang, you wouldn't you wouldn't understand me, probably. Well hey duck has got a slight um, 
it's the proper Haydock dialect is very, very um, broad. broad. Yeah. With a mixture of Merseyside. Yeah, it's a mixture of like there's, there's, you say towns in your wooden influences in the because oh, great uh, what do you call it um, Haydock St. Helens I think even Liverpool came under Great uh, Lancashire at one point mm. and then uh, because they changed the borders for boundaries um, what do you call it um, county um, boundaries yeah Oh, well, not one. That's not the one. But, oh, yeah, for a, some form of general election or whatever. Uh, St. Helens and Haydock came under Merseyside. But there's still. Shelton Wigan came under Greater Manchester. But there's still a difference between the Wigan and the Haydock dialect. Even though I put Lancashire on my mail still. A lot of people do. Yeah, well, I put Greater Manchester. Yeah, it's because you're not from here. This is true. You're an alien. This is true. And I'm right. Because it is Greater Manchester, not Lancashire. <laughs> right, so enough about all this. We're we'll quit talk about it now. Star Saga? Oh yeah, um, the pledge manager for uh, Star Saga is up, um, so I've got until the 28th of February to get them sorted out, so if anybody else is back to Star Saga, get your pledge manager done. Um, so that's the science fiction version of Dungeon Saga, if anybody's not uh, heard of it. Um, what else was there? Was something else wanted to say. Um, oh yes, I read something out from Facebook yesterday about um, the Hound of Hell, the Guardian. Um, yeah, the Hound of Hell in um, Greek mythology, um, which just reminded me because of um, Mythic Battles Pantheon. <laughs> The three-headed dog, Cerberus, the, now then, I can't exactly remember what country it was from, but it's actually started out as a, an old eastern, like it derived from an east, a far eastern word, Kerberus, which means spotted. Um, it came over to Greece, um, Hades named the, the dog Kerberus or Cerberus and uh, basically he named his dog Spot. Awesome, isn't it? <laughs> so Cerberus in Greek mythology his name is Spot. The three headed hound of hell, Spot. Quite interested in. I'm going to ha when I get my models I'm going to have to paint him with a spot. Hmm. Uh, you can only do one spot, couldn't you? Because mm. if it was yeah, okay. I could do him as a Dalmatian, I suppose, but no, no, it wouldn't work. No, 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 I'm going to paint him with a spot. I'll turn that on. Why does it look like a bull mastiff? Why does it look like more like a bull mastiff with three heads? It's a hound. Mm -hmm. Supposedly. Oh, um, well, dogs have big, hands, aren't they? Big chunk, no, no, no. A hound is a specific type of dog, like a dash hunt. Um. Which Dash found. Um. A Mastiff is another kind of dog. A Retriever is another kind of dog. They all serve a purpose. Uh, right. hmm. uh, a Hound, if I remember rightly, is a. I might be wrong on this, as I say, I'm no expert on dogs, but um, it's a group hunter. Uh, okay. Because they hound dogs. Yeah. So how something is to um, I don't know. So a miniature dash sound. Dash hunt. Mm. With the little legs. Yes, the sausage dog. <laughs> I just got his image off. 
a, a, a gang of little dash hounds chasing after something. <laughs> and another one going. Dee, 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 dee. In World War Two, I think it was. Um, I think it was the Russians actually um, decided to strap bombs to dogs and train them to go under tanks because the underneath of a tank is uh, the weakest part of the tank. So they trained them to go under tanks with bombs on the magnetic bombs on the back so that as they went under it the bomb would go onto the base of the tank. Sorry, um, I'm a guzzler. And uh, it failed tremendously because they trained them under Russian tanks so they didn't recognise other tanks, they only recognised the Russian ones, so they went straight back expecting food. <laughs> Boom. So they basically had to have somebody there who would shoot the dogs from the turn around and they had to run them back to the own tanks. But does that, um, is that the origin of terrorists? <laughs> we don't know. Are the terrier, are the terrier brand of dog? No, they were terror terrorists. Terrorists. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear. Right. Well. Do you know what? I've got. I've. I've got a question. You got a question. Okay. Fair enough. Of the week. Oh, question of the week. Yes. Yes. You got a question of question of the week. Because it's Valentine's Day. Yes. And a lot of people um, say that they've been asked. The big question of marriage. Yes. If you're married. Yes. How did you propose to your significant other? Would you like to share that with us? If not, it doesn't matter. But that is the question of the week. Mm. You can you could actually say how you put propose to you. Your ex, if you'd like. It was a very romantic situ uh, scenario. Uh, we were lying on bed watching telly when something was on and I just blurted it out. <laughs> okay, if it can beat that, that'll be fantastic. <laughs> that was, that was the... Uh, but, yeah, what I did was I waited until midnight on, um, this was earlier on Easy. in the year, um, um, August, september time, no, it wasn't, it was a little bit earlier than that, well, less than that, um, but we, um, I mean, I waited until midnight on New Year's Eve in 1989. And uh, as soon as midnight struck, I slept during on a finger. So the first thing I did in the 90s was get engaged. Oh. So uh, we was at the Ben Johnson pub in uh, Skulls. Not the Ben Johnson. Why did I say Ben Johnson? That's the pub that we passed when we went to my dad's. Opposite uh, <laughs> to uh, Sainsbury's. Oh, what's it called? The Lord, uh, the Lord Balcaris. Mm. Why did I say Ben Johnson? That's, I've never been in the Ben Johnson. I don't know. The, the Lord Balcaris, or as we, or as we called it around at, um, at Skulls at the time, the Balk. Um, so I was in there, New Year's Eve, there was uh, all the family. Earlier on, we'd been around to sister in laws. Oh, around my sister in law, rather. Well, it wasn't Ben, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Around Alice's sisters and her husbands. And we're watching um, the Carpenter's story, the movie. And then we went to the pub as, as a great big group. And as uh, soon as they started singing All Lang Syne, I just grabbed all of her hand and slipped the movie. You've got a lot more romantic since then. Yes, I was young and stupid then. Obviously, I got married. Anyway, that's beside the point. It doesn't look like we'll be getting married. Hmm? It doesn't look like we'll, we will be getting married. Now I'm older and stupid. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I'm still stupid. And I do like cake. She's not asked me yet, so... Yet. I rushed into the first one, I'm not rushing into the second. I'm making damn sugar first. Thank you! Look what happened to my last one. Rushing into it, wasn't certain. Making them certain this time. Okay. Now I've got to know which one I work. What? Nothing. Didn't say word. Anyway, that's that. Bah. So, how did you propose to your significant other? Or did your wife ask you to marry you? Can I, can I just point out as well that I was romantic at that time. I remember going to my, before we were married, going to my ex-wife's, as I said, this was before we were married. Knocked on the door, she opened it. I walked in, I gave her a kiss, I said, Jut door. She said, shut it yourself, you lazy bugger. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say that any ounce of romance between me and her got knocked out of me very quickly. I used to get a little presents for our wedding anniversaries, you know, the ones associated with the, you know, first, second group. Yeah. Oh, she pulled a face every time I did it. What are you buying me these for? It used to do with the wedding anniversary, so. There we are. I'm not. I like that. Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh. Well. Right, so that was question of the week. Looking forward to hearing answers now. Yeah. Um, I bet. Mm. Like Richard. Richard and Kristen. Oh. Um, uh. You know, like some people renew their wedding vows. Since your wedding, uh, if I've got this correctly, you've sort of you've converted to um, Latter Day Saints. Is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to renew your wedding vows, you would ha would do you have to have a service in that church? Probably. Oh. Which will probably be a lovely affair because the whole church will get around you, won't it? And probably help make it really nice. See, that that's what one thing that is, um, I don't know. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> okay. You sure? Yeah, I finished. Okay. i now. Um... Right, so I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, I'm really, really thirsty at the moment. I don't think I'm diabetic. No, it's Tuesday. Okay. Huh. tomorrow, then it's Thursday. I'm having my nails done on Thursday. 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 Hmm. Need them doing it. And, uh, I'm having my hmm. claws back. Bah. Yeah, she's been wearing these bunny glue on things that she'd been she bought and every time she did anything she did go flying off. <laughs> oh you're an expletive. What sort? Oh you lost a nail again. She's there with glue. Operation <laughs> And then what I would say is afterwards once I put it on Operation successful. <laughs> and then another one will fly off five minutes later. Um, I'm thinking about seeing if I could when I save money up before I die. Mm. Um, whether to do the course just for me so mm. then I can do do my own nails <laughs> um, I'm very very particular I'm very very for saving my nails even though it doesn't look like my own but once I've got acrylic on all so I want I like them to be mm. particular Uh, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, thanks for all the comments on the uh, video that I put up. Well, the 
little explanation video that I put up uh, last week. I wasn't putting it up for any comments. I was just putting it up to Sorry. let everybody know why I was uh, out of action for a while. You've not heard from me. Uh, um, you, you haven't been well. But uh, as I say, thanks for all the comments. Um, but you are now. Well, you've been much better now. Since, when was it now? Thursday night, I haven't slept for more than two hours a night. Um, I spent all Thursday night and Friday night um, with my table up in front of the couch watching things like um, Criminal Minds and Bones and uh, White Collar and uh, painting the pits. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up of the pits um, very soon. In fact, no, I won't, I won't do that. What I will do is I will show them on the next painting video I do. Let you know what I'm doing, but uh, I explained all this yesterday. What I was doing, so um, they're all done. This is the pics from um, Conan. Um, so uh, I was busy, busy doing them because the, the shakes had left me by that time, so I was just feeling really rough. Um, so because I couldn't sleep, I thought I'll do that. Um, Saturday night, because we had both dogs here. I didn't fancy getting the table out and uh, starting painting because boys, as I say, um, a little bit um, demanding in the affection and attention and stage. So they had the little boxing match, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. So what I did was I uh, I just got up, let you sleep, left you in bed and let you get some rest. I came in here, boy followed me in curled up on the other side of me and I just got my Kindle out and started rereading the shack. Of which you're going to be watching. Mm. That is your um Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That that is so. your Valentine's present by the way. Is it now? Yeah. Ooh. I'll be I'll be um when that comes out I'll pay for us to go. Okay, okay. That comes out on the third of March. So uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Real looking for the book. Um, I was actually looking around for the book for you. I feel good finding it, but the only place I can get it now is on uh, eBay or Amazon. I went to a call into. Um, oh, digital. Digital format? Oh, well, right. the actual book. Alright. Um, I got. Do you know one place you've not tried? I, I had a look. I went before, after I dropped you off, let's say yesterday, I went into Wigan, I looked in Waterstones, I looked in. Uh, Smiths? No, nope. they didn't have it. Just uh, because it's quite an old book, what about the, um, you know, the library up in Beach Hill? It's not an old book. Well, it might be there, because mm. it's uh, like a bot cycle mm. type thing. It's, um, I can have a look. Um, it's not an old book, it's, I'd say about 10 years old, something like that. Alright. Okay. It's not old in book terms. Okay. Um, but it's a really nice story. Don't, like <laughs> Don't follow it. I've got the, I've got the bat symbol. When I close my eyes now, I've got a little bat symbol because of the halogen bulb. Uh, anyway, um, again, um, I have a habit of looking up to my left when I'm trying to think of things. And I don't know if that's supposed to mean I'm. Right way, is, what, right way is from memory, left is, which way is it now? Body language, body language. I don't know, but I always have a habit of looking up to my left, but I think it's because I, I don't have so much from memory, so. Right is for memory and left is for making up. I know it's, um, that's if you ask the question. If you ask a direct question, you can tell whether somebody's lying or not with the way their eyes move when they're thinking of the answer. Okay. No, I'll ask you later. But usually I just do uh, straight in the air when I'm telling ask, 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 I'm answering questions. Do I not? Yes, you do. So, uh, well, sometimes you do the eye dance because my eyes are quite jumpy from your <laughs> both eyes when you follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep, I can't look up. <laughs> 
next day and I look at both <laughs> eyes and I go, do, 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 do. Oh dear. It's fun. <gasps> Guess what we're doing this afternoon? Oh, what are we doing this afternoon? Oh, yes, I know what we're doing this afternoon. You're taking me somewhere. Yes, we're going to. Uh, we're going Across for, the road. We're going for a pub lunch at uh, the Red Robin. Not been for a while. We've not been for a while. And uh, then we're going to um, Round Robin Park having a nosy in uh, Pets at Home because she's got a little friend in Pets at Home. Yeah. Uh, it's oh dear. It's, um, I'll sort your nail come off again. No, <laughs> no, but I've just put yourself in the eye. Got a little bit of liner on mascara or something. I don't know. Um, that'd be a bit hard for mascara. I'm not going to be liner. Um, anyway, getting back to it. There's a little rodent that is a bit like a chinchilla like, or. Um, it's a big hamster. Rat or a hamster. And it's called a Degu. D E G U. And I've, I've, I really love them. And um, <coughs> so, they're so cute. Mm. And uh, this one is called Chip. And I've, I've. When was it? Thursday? Friday, wasn't it? You went to well, I managed to do it that three days in a row. And I managed to get to go and check on him. And he's called Chip. Mm. But he's missing his tail, but yeah. he's meant to have a tail, like a um, like a rat. It looks a bit like a rat's tail, but he's not got a tail. Now, if he had a bald spot on the back of his head, it would be called Chipmunk. <sighs> but he's a Degu. Yeah, but monks have bald spots on the back and shave their heads at the back. Chipmunk a Degu. Mm. That'll be confusing for a Papa Chip Monk, wouldn't it? Yeah. Chip and Dale. Ah. Oh, Rescue Rangers. The only Disney thing I used to like. The only Disney uh, animation I used to like, Rescue Rangers. Was it? Mm. I've not seen that one. Chip and Dale. The two Chip Monks. One dressed as Indiana Jones and the other was dressed as Magnum. Mm. Not remember that in DuckTales. Remember DuckTales? With Scrooge McDuck. Remember DuckTales? DuckTales Looney Tunes? No. Disney. No, no. It's, it's Donald Duck as Scrooge McDuck. Oh, right. It was Disney. I can't remember them. There's a lot of my childhood I don't remember. I don't like mentioning it. Mm. Anyway, getting from this point, can we, are we finishing up? You're getting hungry, aren't you? We can tell, so you're getting hungry, do you want to go and get something to mm. eat? No, it's just, I think it's, mm. we're finding, yeah. we're getting trouble thinking of things now. Yeah, I'm not. Um, yeah, well, so carry on we, are, we should have got back to um, D&D last week, unfortunately, with not being well, I couldn't make it. So uh, they've done an evening without me, which isn't on camera, um, obviously, because I've got them. Um, so we'll be there again this evening, um, and uh, we will hopefully get a recap of what happened last week, because I've not a clue what happened, and uh, you've not a clue what happened, so hopefully nothing much happened last week, apart from a few fights, and that uh, hopefully they've not killed me off. Mind you, you never can tell. Um, so uh, I've not gone to sleep. Still here. Um, I'm just resting me in. Yeah, so we will be back at uh, D and D tonight. So the video will be those videos will be put up shortly uh, over the next few days. And uh, we have a meeting at the studio tomorrow night. Um, the general one. So hopefully we get a few people going. Not just the same six. I'll uh, be there. And on Thursday, and Shell's going. It's uh, my um, decade of music show at the studio with Shelley with B. B, who you met the other week on the uh, road to Writington. And um, Richard, isn't it good? The th especially the Thursday show. Hmm. The Thursday show is really, really good. 
Yeah, if you do. like to get, if you like to listen to the show, you can um, do so by. Yeah, just clicking on the link in the description bar or going to the uh, website, which is uh, www.hospitalradiowritington.co.uk. They also have a Facebook page, which is Hospital, Hospital Radio, Radio Writington. Writington. But you can't get to listen to us on that. But you can send us messages. But there is also um, a page just for your show, and that is HRW Presents the Red-Headed League. The Red-Headed League. You'll never guess why we're known as the Red-Headed League, or why we call ourselves the Red-Headed League, or why I call ourselves the Red-Headed League. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Sherlock Holmes because I've got a red beard and Shell's got a red, red hair. That's the way it goes. Yes, I know, it's died, both of us are, but still, doesn't matter. Still red hair. And it's on the head. It might not be there, but my face <laughs> is part of the head. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to stuff in our faces. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day. So from Laddie... I hope you get, I hope you get spoiled. So from Laddie, snow, 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 snow. Aww. Because he's... Bless you. Hand out on the couch beside of me. From Ali. As always, keep smiling, keep imagining, and keep believing. And from me, as usual, take care, God bless, and bye for now. Happy Valentine's Day. See you next time. I can't do much with the left hand. I'm going to do it with that round because.